हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमिली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी इंदौर आई आशीष कुमार पाराशर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ चमिली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी टुडे विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज प्री फॉर्मुलेशन एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल डोजेस फॉर्म्स लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक वट इज प्री फॉर्मुलेशन a phase of a research and development process where the preformulation scientist characterizes the physical chemical and mechanical properties of a new drug substance in order to develop stable safe and effective doses form so basically it is a kind of study which is which ensure that the prepared formulation will be best safe and effective in its application pre formulation is the physiochemical characterization of the solid and solution properties of a compound pre formulation studies begins when a new chemical entity shows sufficient pharmacological promise and it may be a variable or viable candidate for studies in men pre formulation studies primarily include the study of physico chemical parameters of new drug doses form and extensive stability studies so that the appropriate doses form of new drug molecule can be designed now the question arises why is pre formulation important why we should conduct pre formulation studies before developing a formulation thorough preformulation work is the foundation of developing robust formulation good preformulation will inevitably lead to simple and elegant formulations and successful commercial product so when we desire to develop a marketable good formulation then it is very important to conduct pre formulation studies on drug molecule as well as the excipient which are going to be used to develop the formulation now we discuss pre formulation in the overall research and development processes whenever we receive a new drug substance we first require all the information available about that drug molecule if we don't have the required documents then we have to search we have to conduct the literature survey and collect all the information then we have to determine the physical property of the active pharmaceutical ingredient like macroscopic and microscopic examination of the drug molecule then we have to determine the polymorph solvates and hydrates of the molecule after that we have to conduct the solubility studies partition coefficient of drug molecule is to be determined pk value and dissolution rate is also important then finally we go for the stability testing at normal as well as exaggerated conditions the select most so suitable and most stable active form for bio availability studies if satisfied check lot to lot uniformity check api stability with the excipients and then prepare worksheet and final pre formulation report and to, uh, issue to product development department now if all these parameters doesn't find suitable then or say if the poor viability test results due to solubility pk partition coefficient etc then we have to make another compound or salt or ester of the drug and then again perform all these studies so basically what are the goals of pre formulation first to establish necessary physico chemical parameters of new drug substance active pharmaceutical ingredient to establish the data on drug excipient compatibility and to determine its kinetic profile 
Now the important parameters in pre-formulation process which we usually go to perform with the new drug molecule. First one is organoleptic properties. Second is purity of the drug compound. Particle size, shape and surface area of the drug if it is a solid. Then solubility of the drug with different organic and inorganic solvents. Dissolution profile of the drug. Partition coefficient and ionization constant, crystal properties and, and polymorphism, density, hygroscopicity, flowability, wettability, etc. And finally, the stability studies. Let's discuss one by one all these parameters. First one is organoleptic properties. Organoleptic properties means those properties which we can see, we can feel by external appearance like color, order, taste, color, stability problems, improved appearance by including dye in body or coating. So color is an important parameter. Every drug, drug has its own color. Sometimes the color is unstable and it changes with the time. So we can improve by adding dye or colors, lakes in the drug taste. Taste is very important when the drug has to be administered orally. So palatability is a problem. We can solve by using flavors and excipients with the active drug. Order, order or smell of the active product. It can also indicate the degradation of the active pharmaceutical ingredient. Easy. For example, aspirin stable form of drug to be used. Flavor and excipients may be used to reduce or subside the bad order of the active pharmaceutical ingredient. Terminology to describe organoleptic properties of powders. Color. Color may of the powders may be off white, cream yellow, shiny, tan, like this. If we talk about the order, then pungent, sulfurous, fruity, aromatic, odorless. And in case of taste, taste can be classified as acidic, bitter, bland, intense, sweet, and tasteless. Second parameter is purity. Purity studies are essential for further studies to be carried out safely and thus avoiding toxicity and instability. Designed to estimate the levels of all known and significant impurities and contaminants in the drug substance under evaluation. A study performed in an analytical research and development group, the techniques used for characterizing the purity of a drug are thin layer chromatography, that is TLC, high performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, gas chromatography, GC, and paper chromatography. HPLC is extensively used nowadays. It indicates impurity, second, and homogeneity index, HI. Differential scanning chromatography, powder, uh, power X-ray diffraction, thermogravimetric analysis and melting point by hot stage microscopy are the other techniques to determine the purity of the drug compound. Next property is particle size, shape and surface area. Various chemical and physical properties of drug are affected by particle size distribution and shape. Size and shape also affect the flow property, mixing efficiency, dissolution and other biopharmaceutical behavior of the drug. Fine material are relatively more open to attack from atmospheric oxygen, humidity that then of coarse material. Particles can be classified as very coarse that is sieve number 8 coarse that is has 20 moderately coarse has 40 fine 60 and very fine that is 80 friends we will discuss all the other properties in detail in the 
subsequent videos thank you for watching this video this was a brief introduction of pre formulation studies thank you very much